hello dear students today i am going to take the applications of internal combustion engines in the different sectors the internal combustion engines can be used in the different sections okay like uh, the power generation agriculture automobile aircraft marine like that here the first i'll take the application of internal combustion engine in power generation the power generation means here the internal combustion engine we are going to use for the provide the shaft power to run the electrical generator the usually it is called as a diesel engines are used multi cylinder diesel engines are used to provide the shaft power to the generator and those are called as a dg sets that one diesel generator sets here the multi cylinder engine units are used the multi cylinder engine units are used and each unit is having the number of engine cylinders and the shaft of that engine cylinder is connected to the diesel generator here okay then here the uh, as this is the multi cylinder engine the multi cylinder engine here the different uh, that what uh, other facilities required those are also used that is hall office switchboard uh, washroom and storage and shop and the air compressor which is used to supply the compressed air to the uh, diesel engine or to have the higher power output from that one the oil storage where the oil is stored for the uh, supply to the this diesel engines the uh, larger quantity of the oil is required that's why we can sub use store the the oil in the some location this is about the application of uh, internal combustion engine for the power generation from that the internal combustion engine we are going to get the electrical power from that unit that is the power generation the next application is that application is the agriculture the agriculture one of is the one of the larger sector in our country here for the different uh, activities are to be carried out the different tasks are to be carried out in the agricultural field for all that if you use the machines and those machines are run by the internal combustion engines those machines are run by the internal combustion engine starting from that whatever the uh, pluffing of the land to the whatever harvesting as well as the this threshing is, uh, is there that is run by the that internal combustion engines here we can see that one the why to use the internal combustion engine in the agriculture sector that engines whatever is are there that is allows the faster production more food to be grown and harvested and superior uh, procedures uh, concerning to the uh, countless tasks the procedure what we are fully going to follow in the uh, agriculture sectors agriculture fields those are the uh, superior procedures that are to be followed if you use the internal combustion engine the different tasks are to be performed are pluffing sowing weeding harvesting and threshing etc farm equipment and machinery are the heart of the agriculture industry tractor planters and and combines are all the powered with engines to plant and harvest the crops here we can see the different uh, such type of the machines these are the uh, harvesting and transportation type uh, machines are there these are the plumping and planting type of machines and here the spraying and the some of the again the some other work to be carried out the press spraying of the pesticide like that the other works are to be carried out by using that one next that is the, the actual pictures of these type of the machines also we can see the plumping machines of in the different forms the whatever the uh, tasks are there okay these are the different agricultural applications where we are going to use the internal combustion engine to run the different agricultural machines next is the marine the marine applications here the, in the marine the different types of on the sea the whatever these uh, ships different types of the ships and the boats are to be uh, uh, sail on that one to for that purpose we are going to use the internal combustion engine for that internal combustion engine we can see the internal fixture of this ship where the multi cylinder internal combustion engines are used the arrangement of this uh, uh, 
engines how are there in the inside the ship we can see from this picture and this is the model what is the, there in that one how this uh, internal combustion engine used to run the ship that one okay these internal combustion engine two blocks of the internal combustion engine show those are connected to a rotor where it propels that one where it propels that okay then this the different uh, types of the ships we can see that one the one model it is shown the ships and boats the different ships and boats the heavy capacity ship okay the smaller capacity ships and also some of the boats okay those are all run by the this internal combustion engine for sailing of the all the different types of the ships and the boats we are going to use the internal combustion engine as the power uh, supply unit for this marine application also then next we'll go for the aircraft propulsion the in the aircraft propulsion the aircrafts are run by this internal combustion engines here we can see the internal combustion engine means here the jet engine type internal combustion engine type we are going to use this is the jet engine cross section okay internal combustion engine means not only the reciprocating engine the jet type engine also we are going to use where that is the internal combustion engine okay we can see the different parts of the just uh, engine cross section the intake inlet okay the compression there is a combustion chamber after that one the combustion is taking place and exhaust where the we are going to get the turbine the shaft power rotation we are going to get this one and the two sections the cold section and hot section is shown the internal combustion engine uh, is the power plant used to run all of the light aircraft okay uh, aircraft today now that one okay then the uh, electrical aircraft motors from is the a new cleaner aviation but it is not a uh, completely it is used in nowadays the only the prototypes are developed nowadays we will therefore found on the internal combustion engine is the this series discussing light aircraft propulsion the internal combustion engine for the light aircraft and for uh, heavy engines also we can shift it that one okay that uh, like this in the aircraft propulsion okay we can use the internal combustion engines to uh, fly the aircrafts the next uh, application is the automobile application automobile application is a well known the transportation on the land okay for all of the uh, whatever the our uh, day to day activities and also for the movement uh, and of goods as well as human beings we are going to use the automobiles and the automobiles uh, what are there these automobiles also we can call as the road vehicles road vehicles like scooters motorcycles cars buses trucks heavy vehicles etc the ic engine is to be, uh, to be either it may be a, in, a spark ignition engine or it may be compression ignition engine uh, that means it is a diesel or petrol engines we can use for the running of this one the one of the diesel vehicle it is shown that one diesel engine use what are the parts are there then the how uh, the it is used for different parts of this one it is shown to the control of that uh, diesel engine that was engine the fuel whatever is there and the exhaust all these things you can see from this one and the internal combustion engine what are there these internal combustion are uh, developed from the ancient days okay here the olden days that one okay from that olden days what are there there Uh, some affordable and reliable vehicle the simple vehicles uh, internal combustion engine vehicles are developed earlier and later that is modified but the modified engine what is there the modified engine according to the requirement it is there but the emission complaint and uh, convenient it will be there but the emission complaint is associated with this one then ic engine 3 whatever is there the four category it will be classified in that ic engine 3 what is there the emission complaint and fuel efficient is there emission is uh, associated with this emission we are having the nowadays what are there all the almost all the ic engines are like this ic engine 3 the emission complaint is there the fuel efficient the fully flexible internal combustion engine we are not nowadays using and this is next ic4 is the next generation that one hybridized and connected that one a uh, fully flexible that is uh, power train we are going to use fully flexible power train means here hybridized it is run by the electrical power as well as the internal combustion engine power both and also the most of this control of the ic engine is electronically controlled electronically controlled at the rest may be speed or, or or all the whatever the features are there all to be controlled electronically 
and like this in the development of the IC engine also we can see and the, these IC engines uh, used in the uh, automobiles that were automobile sector the IC engine is the heart of the automobile we can say here okay so this is about the applications of the internal combustion engine thank you